Uh, so a quick video here to talk about Venn diagrams. It's just a quick, I guess, intro to them. We'll take a look uh, at what they look like and what, what they mean. Okay, so uh, the basic Venn diagram starts with, well, always starts with the same thing. A nice, large-ish rectangle. Okay, and that rectangle represents something. Uh, now, I always suck at drawing this. You should Google this in this symbol because it's really cool, uh, but I can't draw it. Uh, now, that symbol, not that symbol, but the symbol you'll Google, stands for the universal set. And the universal set means um, everything under consideration. Okay, so it doesn't mean everything in the universe, that's silly, but it's everything that we're considering sits inside the universal set. Okay, a set, should talk really about sets, a set is just a group of things. Now the classic Venn diagram looks something like this. That we'll call set A. Now again, that's a set, a set of things. And then um, another set, which we'll call set B, another different set of things. So let's use a pretty classic example that teachers use because they're not very imaginative, a group of students or a class of students. So in this case, the universal set is the entire class of students. And that's rep represented by our rectangle here. So a class of students is usually about 28 people in a class. So our universal set size is 28. Now let's say that set A, uh, let's draw that here, represents people who play rugby. Okay, and let's say in this particular class that 15 people play rugby. And let's say that set B represents people that play cricket. So set B is cricket. Uh, let's say 12 people in the class play cricket. And hopefully you, you can see that this is set A, 15 people play rugby. This is set B, 12 people play rugby, and there's this nice little section in here, and that's the people that play both. So let's say that in this particular class, seven people play both. Now, I'm going to give you a real Venn diagram tip here, and that is start from the centre. Tip. This isn't really like official stuff, but this helps you. Tip, start from the center and then start working your way out from the center so looking at this question the center of our Venn diagram is this bit here in the, in the middle now seven people play both rugby and cricket they belong to both set A and set B now 15 people belong to set A and this is why I'm saying start from the center 15 people belong in this circle. Now we've already accounted for seven of them being in that small segment of that circle. So if 15 people belong in the big circle, seven people are in there, then eight must belong here. Now those eight people represent people that play rugby but definitely don't play cricket. And then we do a similar thing with our cricket ones here. So if we look at this, we have seven people that play both rugby and cricket. We have 12 people that play just cricket. Oh, sorry, we have 12 people that play cricket. So if we want to figure out how many people just play cricket, it's going to be 12 minus 7, which is 5. Okay, so we're nearly done here, but we just need to then figure out what number goes outside of this. Okay, so we've got... 28 people in the class, remember, that was our universal set. Now we've got 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 20. 
20 people are accounted for in these two circles. Seven play both, eight play rugby, five play cricket. So that adds up to 20, which means that eight people are out here. Eight people are outside of those circles. Those are the people that don't play any cricket. Oh, sorry, any sport. No rugby, no cricket. Maybe they play another sport, swimming. Okay, so eight, seven, five, and then eight outside here. Uh, so that's Venn diagrams. It's just a really nice way to represent sets of things, sets of things that may or may not overlap. And you can see that overlapping here with that circle. Okay, we're going to use these in some future, future videos.